If this actually happens, like if Charles is like really, really serious about us going on an RV trip, where should we go? Stereotypical dog. Do you not care? You just prefer eating sticks. A giant vacuum monster. Give me the mail. Bring me the mail. Penny. Go. Can I have the mail? No, go get the mail. Okay, oh, he's like, I want to destroy no, no, it. No, 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 bring it to dad. Penny. Come bring me the mail. Oh, he's there. <laughs> Thank you. Go on, Thank go bring it to dad. Go bring Can I have the mail? <laughs> Thank you. Because it's mine. I like pizza. Okay, let go of it. But it's mine. Good job. Well, I, oh, he helped you. <laughs> Thank you. We, uh, we've been on the phone back and forth today with not only the insurance company that's dealing with our RV, because you guys obviously know if you've been watching for a while. I don't know, before, no, was it November or before November? A long time ago, it was last year. We had these issues where, unfortunately, somebody had run into our RV while it was parked at the storage facility that we have, not just once, but twice, and did some pretty nasty damage to it. We went to a well-known, like, RV supplier slash, they, they fix RVs, yada, 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 they store RVs, all the above. They are repairing it right now. They finished it up a couple weeks ago, let a, letting us know that there was actually more damage than what they initially thought four to five grand more worth of damage to this RV than they originally anticipated and um, more damage than what the actual individual who appraised the damage at. We've been kind of back and forth with both the insurance and with this RV repair place. And we're just trying to get everything squared away because we could technically pick up our RV right now. There's one last thing that we're, we're working on that is something that is completely up to us, that is completely something that we want to handle. We have always kind of had issues with our awning and it's a brand new awning. So it's never made any sense to us why we've had so much issues. We got that looked at and they're gonna help us with that as well to make sure that that is all squared away and like perfectly brand new, having no problems. Cause the funniest thing about this awning is we've literally, I think only used it twice. Like we've rolled it out maybe, maybe three times. So we're like, we really just want this fixed. We really want it repaired. We want to make sure that it is functioning and it is brand new because it's literally brand new. It's never like the bottom part. I'm not even sure if it's ever seen the light of day. Char right now has been back and forth on the phone trying to figure that out. But the good news is, is that the RV is fixed. It is fixed. It is so funny. We were talking back and forth. And they were just saying like, wow, you guys have put a lot of work into this. Like there's so many brand new things on it. We're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, we put a lot of heart and soul into it. We've had a lot of help. We've had a lot of people that have just like backed us and who have helped make that transition from what it was in the beginning to what it is now. And we're so thankful for it. For the past two days, Charles has really been whispering. Oh, sorry, my knee is still hurting. For the past two days that maybe we should go on one last RV trip. And I thought he was joking because he has been so determined to get this thing sold and out of our possession, not because it's a wreck, but because I think that we've overstayed our welcome with this RV. It is fixed, it is brand new. I mean, literally there's nothing wrong with it for us to actually get rid of it. I think it's just time for it to be passed on to the next person. Maybe it won't be like a huge cross country trip in this particular RV, but in this particular RV, maybe we can do a smaller trip. Maybe we can go to a couple of states that are relatively close by and give the dogs an experience in this RV before we kind of make an executive decision on what's the next step for us. Our RV trips are definitely not over. We just don't know. I actually, I know we're never gonna go that big again. It was wonderful. 
and it was an adventure, but we're never gonna go that big again. He keeps mentioning it and I have not pushed it. Like I've been really respectful about it because I'm sure you guys know that I love the RV and I really don't wanna get rid of it, but I get it. Like I get it and it's about what suits our family and what suits our needs and it just suits so much more than what we actually physically need. My question is, if this actually happens, like if Charles is like really, really serious about us going on an RV trip, where should we go? We can't go all the way to the other coast. Like we're, as much as I'd love to go over to California and like Colorado and Utah and Arizona and all that, that beautiful Montana, all the above. That's probably not gonna be feasible for our last trip in this particular RV. Future trip, absolutely. We don't want to go that far. If there was any place in the east coast of the United States that you guys think that we should go, because we've never really done the east coast before, where would it be? We love national parks. We love being out in nature. That's a big thing for us. We're, we'd rather kind of avoid big cities. We want to be kind of away from the hustle and bustle. It's really soothing and um, I think you guys really enjoy it when we kind of get away from those type of things. So if there's one place or maybe two, maybe three that you think like, oh my gosh, you just have to go here, you have to. Like you would be passing up the opportunity of a lifetime if you didn't go here in your bus for the last time, where would it be? What do you think the dogs would like too? Because it will be their big adventure, last and only big adventure in that RV. In that RV though. Let me know, put it in the comment section. So how sparkly it looks. Yeah, it's like, ooh. Oh look it is, super it sparkly. It is crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, since I put it on your finger. Mm. What do you think, Graham? Do you want to build one too? Which, what size do you want? Gosh, there's massive rings. Yeah, Graham, let's get you a four. Let's double your mom. Yeah, that's as big as your eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Want to hear something I just found out? That a ladybug is yeah. part of the cockroach family. Did you know that? No. But didn't they say something about they, like, they eat bugs off yeah. the ants? Yeah, like aphids and that's stuff. That's cool, Remy. But yeah, but I was told that it's kind of like in the cockroach family, which I will never look at a ladybug. I got to fact check that. You don't like cockroaches? If it's on the screen, I'm right. If it's not on the screen, I have a big X on my face. What's up? Beetle. You found a beetle? It's alive. It's alive? Yeah, hold it. Let's save it. Oh, uh, it's not very alive, so we should put it in the plants. It looks like it's alive. It is alive. It is alive now, so let's go put it in the, with all the plants. Which plant? This one? Yeah. What happened to the wizard? The lizard? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. Basically, Penny got a lizard. She's a lizard hunt like Diesel. Really? How was school today? Good. So once you're done with the floaty, you'll be able to go get that thing. Uh, and give me goggles? You could use goggles. Or Oki wants to go so bad. Don't you, Oak? It's Remy's turn first, and then you can go on later. How did you get that? Okay, you are magic. You kick, look at her go now. Jeez, you're so fast. Remy is crushing this woman. This is insane. <laughs> Remy, you're going so fast now. We're gonna take credit. Arms, arms, legs. Good job. Do what Oki does. Not Penny, because I don't know where Penny is. Oh, there she is. Allie's making a... Fontina. Fontina. Chicken without the chicken. So it's no chick Fontina chicken. <laughs> so it's just called the Fontina. And she's just trying to it's just called the Fontina. Try this tomato, it's amazing. Hey guys, try their... <laughs> Are you okay in that one? Did you hurt yourself? It's pretty embarrassing, especially since it actually was on camera. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. Ding dong. That note, guys. Well, see you tomorrow.